learning, bro. I'm, I'm emotional, right? Like, yeah. I'm, an, I'm not. I'm not ashamed. I don't feel like that's a slight to say that I'm emotional to do. Yeah. I'm emotional, but sometimes I forget that the emotions I'm feeling isn't the emo- isn't the the aura or energy that I'm expressing. So, thought mode may look like angry mode to somebody else. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Thought, my thought mode is like this. They don't look like I'm over here researching in my brain, which is what I'm doing. That looks like I have an attitude. Yeah. So, like, I've gotten in the car with my girl plenty of times just been looking off to the side. She's like, baby, what's wrong? I don't know. She don't even know that I'm over here thinking about something five years from now. Yeah. That I'm trying to plan myself. Yeah. So, the thing the thing that I'm learning in, in relationships, bro, is as men, it's important that we communicate the current state that we're in or the current mood that we're in because because everybody don't under, everybody don't I, I, we can't expect everybody to read us and know what we're thinking or what we're going through at the time I don't I don't because listen and this, this, I, like I like I just said bro when dealing when, when dealing with women <laughs> dating back maybe a year ago maybe longer I don't know <laughs> but this, this is what I'm getting at from the jump I let them know I lack in communication I, I lack they don't listen they don't but it's like, it's like they it's don't like in one end one out the other and then when, when, I'm, when I get in those moods where I just need Solitude. I just need to be by myself. It's not. It's nothing she did. It's just that. That's 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 where I'm at. You know what I'm saying? Again, I tell them from the jump. There gonna be days whenever you may want to talk, and and I don't really got a lot to say. It's not. It's not that I got an attitude with you or anything. It's just that when I'm when I'm locked in on something, I'm locked in. And and. Yeah. So this is my question. Yeah. As men, right? Because yeah. I have the same problem. When when will we? Nerd. But you're talking talk that up, bro. <laughs> That's crazy, bro. Okay. That's crazy, bro. You didn't talk that up, bro. Okay. So this is my question. As men, when will? Because we don't do this often. <laughs> okay, so 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 what you're saying is, okay, when will we evolve past our need for? Because this is something I'm realizing. The way I am isn't necessarily the right way. You know what I'm saying? Like I'm having to realize, okay, the way that I am. I'm... What you don't agree? I mean, I'm just saying. What what need to be will be. It's just. It's all it's all a matter of coming into understanding of whatever it is that need be and just working toward making it better. Or have making you, it right. Have you, have you changed in your need for leaving me alone? No. Okay, what okay, this is my thing is. This, and I, I just think I think it's just because that's just what it is right now. And whenever it's time for me to evolve out of that, time, time does not make you evolve. Time evolving comes with the choice. But I mean, think that, about how to think that's about your how comfort to, zone. Think that's about your how, comfort but zone. But I mean, okay, yeah, I understand that. That's your comfort. I understand zone. that. Comfort zone. Then nothing good. Nothing new comes from a comfort. Right. No. Yeah. Yeah. Absolutely. Nothing new comes from comfort. I agree. With you that. know what I'm realizing, bro? And I just told my girl this last night, bro, that I apologize to her for being guarded. Because I didn't know I was being guarded. I was getting in my shell a lot. I was like, when it come time for me to think or process or do things or stuff that was new to me that I wasn't down with, I would get in my shell. Like, it's a soulmate when you decide to go through the isolation with her. When you decide to get alone with her and grow with her and think with her. Imagine being with somebody that you can process everything and make new decisions about, okay, the stage, the phase that you're in with that person. Bruh, 
Because yeah, women, yeah, really is women, women have yeah, the ability yeah. to see further in the future than men yeah. because men, because men can't see past an emotional decision. Like emotional decisions block the future. Like you can, okay, say for instance, the future can come right. Like okay, say for instance, like you got your day planned out in the shop, right? You know the first three dudes' haircuts that you have to do. You can, you knowing what's going to happen. You can say, this haircut will take this time. This haircut will take this time. This haircut will take this time. You know the three dudes that you got coming on. Logically, which how men operate on a logical level, we can assess what time we'll be done with the haircuts. But women see things from an emotional standpoint. They'll look at it in the fact of say, you may be having a conversation or this may come in, somebody else may come in the shop or something. They see from an emotional standpoint. So some things men see on a logical standpoint that women may see on an emotional standpoint. I feel like the, the, I feel like the person that's really for you it could be the person you win now. They, when you you come out of your comfort zone with, and you'll be able to discuss the mood that you're in with them versus wanting to be Boy, in isolation. You on, you on, you on, you on, you on the ball right now. That's what we're talking about. As, as you speak, you know what's playing in my head? What? Women are our greatest resources. Bruh. The, bro, are the greatest my girl don't understand that, bro. I be telling her like, all the time. I be like, yo, like, I said, I'm so thankful for you, because, dog, like, my girl, okay, bro, I'm, I'm okay. I'm a plain. I'm from Newton Grove, North Carolina. I'm a plain simple dude, nigga. I'll eat chicken, and I'll eat chicken and turkey burgers for the rest of my life, right? Just because that's <laughs> yeah. what I'm comfortable with. Yeah. My girl, she eats Thai food, Vietnamese food. Yeah. So she do stuff like she'll introduce me to something new that's normal to her. And it exposes me, and what it does is open my world up. Yeah. Like once your comfort zone opens, your world opens. Yeah. So I feel like a good woman, man, will open up your entire world to to new things you've never seen before. So if you're dating a woman that's allowing you to stay comfortable, she is not good for you. If you're dating a woman that allows you to stay comfortable, and she does not challenge, she does not challenge your your um your area of comfortability. She's not good for you, bro. Here's where I fall. Here's here's where I fall. Here's where I drop the ball with that right there. Cause I, often I'm 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 on def- defense mode. So bro, twenty four seven over here. Yeah, like twenty four seven over here. Like we're dealing with that. Like I'm defensive, bro. Like I I feel like if if okay, I may take what she's saying. I may I may take what she's trying to say the wrong way. Me every time. Like and and I know well. <laughs> Me, I do. Probably, that's why after reflection. I was like, well, damn, I probably, you know what I'm saying, like. But that that's 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 where I fall short with it. I, I feel like so her challenging girl, me. Don't make your girl walk on eggshells, bro. Exactly, and I I I don't I would I wouldn't want that. Don't make your girl walk on eggshells, bro. And I, and I, I bro, I just crazy. I just had this conversation with my girl last night. Like, I feel bad because I'm like, she got to strategically think how to talk to me about something. Yeah. And it shouldn't be like that because what if she want to have an organic conversation like. When when the intuition hits you to talk about something, that's when you need to do it because you'll be led by the intuition, right? Instead of logic, yeah. Like you'll be led by the energy instead of the logic. And if she had to stop the energy to come logically, I can miss out on something that I really need because she's like, "How can I bring this up to Lamar? Yeah. How can I tell Lamar that he need to uh, he need to put this toilet seat down without without him blowing up? You know what I'm saying? Like something simple like that. You know what I mean? So. Yeah, but I just think it's really important. I think as men, you know what men have to do? We have to learn how to be vulnerable in our times of needing to get ourselves together. And and the right woman can really help us in a simple way. But men don't want to be vulnerable enough to look weak and say, yo, I'm just having a hard time figuring this out right now. Or where I'm at, this 9 to 5 I'm at right now, I'm not feeling it. Like a lot, if you leave yourself to your own devices, or your own understanding, then you can only figure it out with the knowledge that you have. Mm-hmm. Talking to your girl, she may she may see something from a totally different perspective. Yeah, she's going to see she's going to, yeah, she's going to, bro. Yeah. She's going to see it from a totally different perspective. And the thing about women that I love, women naturally have empathy. Yeah. Naturally. Yeah. Naturally have empathy. So when a woman when a woman hears a situation, she's gonna tell you the best when she really loves you, she's gonna tell you the best thing from her heart because you She's she looking at it as it's her herself, you know what I'm saying? And my girl had gave me some simple advice about stuff, bro, just about my business alone, about just about how taking deposits before I do anything, just some small stuff. 
And she really get mad about it. She's like, no, we can't have that. You need to start taking your deposits before you do stuff so you don't waste your time. And, bro, it has changed my business alone just because now I'm getting paid before I do stuff and make sure that my time isn't wasted. Just because she cared, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. But what if I would have held it for myself and I still would have been taking L's of people counseling on, like, videos or photography and stuff like that, and I just would have been taking L's. Like, like I drove all the way to Raleigh one day to do a photo shoot at 12 o'clock, and the person was like, I ain't going to be there till 2. I'm just sitting in Raleigh. She was, I, I told my girl, she was like, charge them extra. Hit the person up, I was like, I said, real professional, I'm like, waiting fee is $50. She's like, okay, $50, send me $50. You know, something that simple is like clutch. You know what I'm saying? But if I wasn't vulnerable enough to let my, let my girl know that I'm in distress right now, this person is late right now. Like, at a point of vulnerability of not being the man, like, I'm not the man right now. Like, I'm supposed to be here at 12, this person ain't here at 12. Like, I'm just sitting out here looking crazy. Me being vulnerable in that moment and not just clamming up and just sitting there just being mad allow my girl to suggest something that helped me out in the long run. So my thing is, as men, being vulnerable isn't a sign of weakness or talking to somebody when you're in, in the funk. Like, we get in our own way sometimes, bro. When I clam up and get in my shell and I get defensive, I'm getting in my own way, bro. Shit, yeah, yeah. Because cause emotionally, you know what I'm saying? Like, it, like, like it's, being defensive is a primal instinct. You know, a dog can only be two things. And that's offensive or defensive. That's an animal instinct to get defensive. That is not logical. Getting defensive, getting defensive, a Venus flytrap can get defensive, bro. Like, something that doesn't have, like, necessarily free will or, 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 or logic. Like, being defensive is not a sign of being manly or, or getting yourself together. That's just a sign of, of being primal. You know what I'm saying? That's a sign of being scared, bro. That's a sign of being scared. Being defensive means you protecting something. You don't be defensive unless you're trying to protect something. Can that come from anxiety? It could, bro. Like, 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 explain, explain. I mean, well, you said it's a, it's a, it could be that being defensive is being scared because you're hiding something. But I mean, let's think about how anxiety works. I mean, what underline what what causes anxiety? Is it the fact that Somebody could be hiding something, or I mean, I mean, like that's 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 what I want to know. Anxiety works so many different. It's, it's so many different. Cause you know, Kevin Love got this anxiety. Demar, uh, uh, Demar DeRo- uh, Demarcus, what's his name? Demar DeRozan. Demar De- Demar DeRozan Play got for anxiety the, uh, for the Raptors. We got yeah, yeah. He got anxiety. He just admitted it the other day. So look at him. Why would he have anxiety when he's a proven basketball player and he has millions? So yeah, I, you know what I'm saying? saying? What that? I, I'm just trying to understand, like, where where does anxiety come from? What does he have to fear? He ain't got bills. He ain't got bills he can't handle. He ain't got, he ain't like he can't score on the court. So anxiety comes from different areas. I'm trying, I, I don't know. I don't know how it works. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know how anxiety works, bro, because I've gotten anxiety pumping gas because I was having a great day. I'm just like, yo, why is this day so good, bro? I think anxiety come from an, an emotional stress level because now this era that we're dealing in, we never ever think about ourselves. We never ever um, Ooh. self-reflect. What? Yo. We think about everything else. Everything else. Everything else. Everything else. Cardi B is way more important than what I got going on. What's he, her life? Offset just got home, bro. He just came. That's what. Where you on the ball, what? Yeah. That's yes, up. Bro, so... Yeah, yeah. So, so what Yo, I think is self reflection is not doesn't happen. It don't. It, it it's not existed pretty much at this point. Mm-hmm. Those who those who know, know and do. <laughs> but everybody <laughs> else, bro, listen. Everybody else, bro, <laughs> listen. Because yeah, I'm, yeah, 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 yeah. I'm passionate about like you know nah, what I'm saying, right? but I'm it's, very it's passionate about it because it just it, it really touched me, bro. It really touched me. <laughs> yeah, we we at a what what would you call this age? Social media. They call it the age of information. The age of information. But the but this, this is this is the disconnect. We're in the age of information, but the information isn't coming from our minds. The information is available. Yeah. So we're that smarter. We're smarter yet dumber. We think we're smarter because we have access to information. Right. But the information isn't generated. So we're not the smart ones. We're only borrowing information. If Google or GPS was to leave the day, how far could we really go? Home. Home. I'm terrible with directions. But I'm horrible. <laughs> I'm horrible, bro. If my girl yeah. hit me up every day and said, baby, can you come visit me? 
without my GPS, bro, I'm gonna get there. I just don't know. But when. I'm gonna have to leave around nine in the morning. Yeah, I don't know when I'm gonna get there. I find these bitches. Only <laughs> knocking on doors like you know uh she's on the gas stations. You know what I'm saying? Like, like hey, can you tell me where uh So it seems it seems like right now we have more information, but it's getting us it's getting we're lenient on the system and as soon as the system get cut from us, we're gonna be we're gonna be in trouble. Go. Yo Back to self reflection. The reason why self self reflection doesn't exist now is because we got so much in our face. Mm-hmm. We it, it takes away from us. Cause like you said, man, like we so worried about what's going on on mm-hmm. God. We worried about we we really worried about appearance. <laughs> yeah, appearance what, is how we appearance. how we perceived by others. Yeah, appearance is the number one thing that we're worried about right now. It like, seems like everybody it seems like everybody is pretty much on one accord to agree. Like everybody in a dangerous way. Same. In a dangerous way. Yo, there's no know. East Coast and West Coast no more. Social yeah, media, no, social media yeah, has made it. it, it we're living in this cloud city right now, bro. Yeah. There's no East it Coast, West Coast. Everybody but see, there's no more originality. Mm-mm. Like, it's crazy, man. It it's, it's, it's it's almost scary. But see, it's it's, it's it's simply setting us up because once you can condition, Absolutely. once you condition the mind, the physical will follow. Yeah. So so let's look at where, where we're thinking it today versus how we're living. Where we're thinking it today, how we're living is going to come very, 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 very soon. Very, very, very soon. And this is really scary if you think about yeah. it. Because right? Yeah. right now we're a, vic- we're a victim of the most popular opinion. It's yeah. not truth. We're not Truth yeah. doesn't matter anymore. No, no. The one, whatever has the most likes is the truth. Yes, sir. Because so now social media and and even news sources now... They're following the subjects that would get the most looks, yeah. not the most truth, yeah. not the most truth. We really get the most looks. So now, honesty isn't important no more. It's about what is what is. We get to pick the honesty now. We get to pick the honesty. You know, like just you know, you know what? It is crazy to say. What if Trump was telling the truth? It doesn't matter if he's telling the truth if everybody dislikes it. If everybody dislikes what he's saying, then the truth doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. You know what I'm saying? What if Obama was lying the whole time, but he was likable? You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. So truth doesn't no longer matter now. It's about public perception. People are losing their jobs now over Twitter because Twitter has an outrage. This many people doesn't like this, and we can't have this because we need what the people likes. You know how dangerous that is for us to appease ourselves upon what we like? That is very, very, very dangerous. Absolutely. Because most of the things that we like... Most of the things that we don't like is good for.